Okay, so it's currently 7 10 a.m. here in Baku, Azerbaijan, and it's still pitch dark outside. You can clearly see it behind me. I wonder why they've chosen such a time uh, uh, since the beginning where the daylight begins so late in the day, and there are very few vehicles around here. So, because of this, the morning hours and job hours also begin quite late in the day, at about 9 or 9.30. So, but the weather here is really amazing, despite the cold uh, breeze that, that that's always there, no matter what. Uh, even if it's, it rains, the breeze is still very harsh. Uh, but that goes along with uh, if you are surrounded by seas here and there. So that is, that's actually, uh, so with the seas, naturally winds do follow up it's a natural phenomena um, however the difference between this wind and Dubai's wind is that Dubai's wind is quite warm because of I don't know what um, the geography is uh, the geographical difference between uh, Dubai and Baku, uh, Azerbaijan is, but uh, the Dubai's winds are very warm, and uh, while this Azerbaijan's winds are very cool and gentle as on the face, provided you cover your neck at least. Okay, so I've I've been seeing some shades of vehicles in traffic flow moving along the roads uh, now as the time is passing by so more and more traffic is being observed. Survive this one. Let's see. Survive for, for some more distance. I have to actually take a trip to Gapala today, which is the the snowy uh, snowy place uh, here in Baku. And, uh, uh, sorry, uh, in Azerbaijan, it's I think a different place. I don't really understand the geography over here. Uh, it will take me some time before I do understand it. So, I'll start off to Kabbalah at about 8.30 from here. Um, and now it's 7, 10 or 7.15 right now. So, and the breakfast will be ready at about 8 p.m. So, Till that time, we have about 45 minutes till breakfast, so I wanted to just freshen up with a walk down the street here in Baku. It's actually cold, this area is actually cold and a seamy, and uh, I found a really good hotel over here. It's affordable and um, has a great value. Uh, it's uh, raining over here as well, slight drizzle. I don't think it rains really that hard over here. Most of the times it's what I've observed in these few days is that 
uh, it drizzles slightly but there's not much of a uh, hard shower or thunderstorms etc and that's really the good thing I like about it because in, if there's a heavy rainfall somewhere you can't completely walk out on the streets while in drizzle in a drizzle you uh, have the freedom to walk because you don't feel like it's raining although it is and uh, that is how things go let me see how far is my hotel I don't uh, when I walk over here I don't really know what's happening uh, I don't really know what streets to follow I just go along the roads and whatever path I can find uh, to walk on and then when I want to return to my place I follow the same path I have the picture of the route that I had followed uh, while walking along uh, while starting along and I follow that picture again and follow and reach back to my hotel to my place of residence Oops, my arm is hurting right now so now I'm walking back towards my hotel no hotel because there's still some time left for my breakfast to arrive. So this is my hotel, Istanbul Gol Baku. Let me show you it to you from a little distance. previous uh, hotel that I was staying at because it had some bed bugs uh, and also the washrooms were not attached with the rooms I had to go out of my room into the uh, uh, into the corridor and from there on I would visit the wash and there were around four rooms that used the same wash room so it was quite washroom a TV and uh, it gives a general uh, cleaner environment it is a generally very clean environment so here it is Istanbul Gold Baku so 
so I think now I'll be off to my room because I don't have anything to do in my room but I'll just wait for my breakfast it's uh, getting really cold out here